What's up guys? It's Chu. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have this beautiful Nipsey Blue Eye for you guys. I know y'all have been checking it out on my Instagram and trust me I have wanted to show you how to get this look. I actually filmed this before believe it or not and unfortunately the camera stopped recording in the middle of me filming but it's okay because we are back today to show you how to get this look. I'm so excited to show you and if you want to know how to get this then keep on watching. All right guys, let's jump right in with some skin prep. So we're gonna start with the CEO Glow Facial Oil from Sunday Riley. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over. My skin is super dry right now. I mentioned this before on my channel in my favorites. This has vitamin C and turmeric, so it's gonna help to brighten and even your skin. Not gonna lie, I can be a picker. I know, terrible, right? So I have created quite a few scars over the last few days. My skin has been doing weird things. Next, we're gonna apply the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. Apply that all over. Work that in. I'm gonna do like a whole daytime and nighttime skincare routine too, so. Y'all look out for that, I'm excited for that. I know a lot of people ask me about skincare a lot, so it's coming. Trust and believe, it's coming. This feels so much better, y'all. Make sure when you're applying your skincare to try to always work your way up. You don't wanna pull the skin down. That's how we create wrinkles and things. Next up, y'all know I love a little eye cream. <laughs> this is the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Little dollop of that. Always apply it to your ring finger. Believe it or not, that is your lightest weight finger. A lot of people think it's the pinky, but it's actually the ring finger. So it's gonna apply less pressure and the skin under the eyes is our thinnest skin. So we don't want any tugging or pulling there. And I always go up on the lid too. And for these crusty lips, the Smith's Rosebud Salve. Just gonna apply that before I get started. That way it's got time to really sink in. Make sure my lips are nice and moisturized before we go in with lipstick later. First things first, we definitely need some color correction. So I'm gonna use the Dragon Beauty Color Corrector. All around the mouth area where I have hyperpigmentation on these little spots that I have unfortunately picked. Do not do that. If you can help it, I know it's hard, but be better than me. Do as I say, not as I do. Let's go ahead and buff those in. This is an It Cosmetic brush. I'm not even sure which one it is, but we're just gonna use that to tap these in. That all nice and worked in. You can always go in with translucent powder and set this if you want, but I am just gonna rock with it once I get it blended in. And of course you can skip this step. Since I work in retail, like I'm used to people obviously coming to shop for makeup a lot and they'll come and say, I need that orange stuff that this YouTuber used or this girl on TikTok used. You guys, you don't have to do every single step that everybody else does because you may not need it for your skin. You can't use every single product that everybody else uses because your skin may be different. So just keep that in mind when you're watching YouTube or uh, TikTok or wherever you're watching videos, Instagram, and do your research on the product before you like really invest your money into something that may not work for you. So if you don't have any hyperpigmentation or any areas that you want to color correct, then you can skip this step. You know what, I forgot primer, but I'm gonna put it on top. Should have probably put this on first. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I have actually only used this like once or twice. I had like a little sample and I really liked it. Um, so I went and got the larger one where I ordered it anyway. So we're gonna try not to move around this corrector, <laughs> but still get some of that primer up on here. I really, really like tacky primers like this cause it really helps to keep your makeup on. Next up, we're gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Eye & Magic Foundation in the shade Savannah 440, mixed with the Anastasia Luminous Foundation in the shade 365C. This is my number one combo here lately. I just do a very little bit of the Juvia's because this one is thick, honey. And then about the same, a little bit more of the Anastasia. Okay, mix that together. 
I just do a little bit on my forehead, like a T, right in the center. I don't like to push a whole lot of foundation back into my hairline. And then I always keep a paper towel nearby because I get rid of the excess. Remember, try not to over apply. It's okay to take some product off. All right, we're gonna go ahead and buff that in. This is a Smashbox blurring foundation brush that I'm using. Again, you wanna make sure you're kind of tapping and not swirling everything around because we don't want our foundation turning orange from our corrector. And this may look a little warm on camera, but don't worry, trust the process that we are going to highlight and contour. So it's all gonna even out at the end. Make sure you get that jawline and a little down the neck. Really take your time with this. Make sure it's nice and blended. I just realized I'm gonna be using a lot of new products today because yes, I have been a victim of the online shopping. I know, quite terrible, but I'm excited because <laughs> there's some stuff I've been wanting to try for a while. So you'll get to see it firsthand. My skin was so dry and flaky, y'all. So if you see some flakes coming off my brows, your girl needed some moisturize to go over my lids just a little bit with whatever's left over on the brush. And as you can see, I have a huge line of demarcation, but don't worry about that because we are going to contour, right? Next, let's go ahead and highlight with the Pat McGrath concealer in the shade M18. I'm so excited to try this. This is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer. If you don't know who Pat McGrath is, ooh child, look her up, okay? She is the mother of all mothers, okay? The makeup guru of all time. She's a pro makeup artist and she is a sister. So I stand for Pat McGrath. And I have not tried this concealer yet, but I'm excited. All right, so highlighted right up under the eyes, the bridge of the nose. And y'all know I love a good nose contour. I know it's not for everybody, but it's certainly for me in my house. So I come up on the sides as well for that reverse contour. So far, I am liking the consistency of this. We're gonna see how it blends out, but she seems pretty full coverage, medium to full coverage, and like a nice satin finish so far, but again, we'll see how it blends out. All right, I'm gonna take my Royal Blue Beauty Blender. It's already nice and damp. We're gonna blend her out. Okay, not too shabby. I like her so far. Blends really easily. As far as coverage, it's definitely more on the medium side, I would say, but I don't mind that. I like to blend the bottom of my concealer, like right by the cheekbone first. I like to blend that out first on both sides. And then I kind of like to let the upper portion near the eyes kind of sit for a little bit, and then I'll come up and blend that just because I like to give it time to dry down and kind of leave more coverage there. Y'all know on my Sunday service pat down video, I talked about how Shape Tape was literally the only concealer that seems to work for me and not crease. So I am just praying that Mother Pats is gonna be doing the same thing for me because I cannot afford to have this creasing on me as well. That would be tragic. I'm gonna squeeze that beauty blender and blend out that nose highlight. I just realized I'm using this Royal Blue Beauty Blender and doing a Nipsey Boo look. Okay, let's go ahead and contour. I'm gonna use a new contour too. I told y'all, this should be like a new products video too. The Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the shade Medium. I've been eyeing this for the longest time and I finally got it. So, let's see, what should we use to apply this? All right, I'm gonna use the Morphe M334 brush. It seems really warm, so I don't know how well it's gonna do shaping wise. Okay, wait a minute. She has a little bit of coolness to her. We'll see when it gets blended out if it's going to be cool enough to really sculpt the face. You know I need that extra sculpt on that jawline. Get rid of these quarantine snacks. Go right up under the chin. Let's blend her out. I'm gonna use the Morphe M523 brush. Okay, not too shabby. Blends out nicely. 
Raise that double chin. Okay, she's cute. I like it, I like it. This is definitely not as dark as my Juvia's Place foundation stick, which I like, because that stick is just a teeny bit too dark. I mean, I make it work, but this seems to be like perfect. Ooh, I like this. I think this is going to be one of my new faves. I mean, it just blurs into the skin too, where it's not like super harsh. And I think it does give a nice mix of warmth and coolness. So if you like are super dry or you just really like that dewy glowy look, or you just really love using creams only, you really could just go with this. You wouldn't even really need to use a bronzer because this is going to shape and warm up the face at the same time. I guess that's why it's called tan tour. Tan and contour at the same time. What do we think? I like it. All right. So let's blend out that nose contour using that same Morphe 334 brush. I'm gonna wipe off some of the excess. That's that angled buffing brush that I use to kind of really hug in there. So remember, I always brush up towards the brow first, kind of into the crease of my eye. And then I hug right in there and then pull down what's left over. Still a lot on this brush. That's why I always keep a paper towel nearby. I hate overusing product. And kind of put a little bit underneath to lift. Not too shabby. I am gonna clean this up a little bit. My beauty blender. Just going over those highlighted areas again. I am going to now try the new cream blushes from Fenty Beauty. I haven't bought Fenty in a while, actually. I wasn't a big fan of the foundation. I bought it once, you know, when it first came out, and then I just never rebought it. I don't know what it is about it. I think it's too fluid or something for me, but I have seen a lot of reviews on the cream blushes, and I love a little cream blush. So we're gonna see how this goes. This is the new cream blushes, and I'm gonna use the shade Petal Poppin. I got three more shades that I'm excited to try, but today we're gonna go with that more new neutral pink. I'm going to use this NYX brush number 22. It's like a little angled. I really wanted the Fenty brush that she made for this, um, but it sold out. I heard these are really super like muted, so it's okay to kind of go a little ham. Plus, I'm going to go over it with powder blush anyway. Can y'all even see that on camera? Like I can barely see it in person. It is pretty though. It has a nice sheen to it without being like overly greasy looking. Can we even see that? So you can get a little crazy with these it seems because that time was a little much. But again, I'm going to go and set everything anyway with powder so I'm not really worried about it. All right, now we're going to go in with the Studio Fix powder from MAC in the shade C6. This is what I use to just set my under eye first before I bake. So this is the Real Techniques brush in the shade 300. It's like this little triangle shaped brush. Kind of hard to describe these brushes. I think this is really meant um, for blush or powder, one of the two. I just really stamp that under the eyes to set everything. Set that forehead and the chin, anywhere that I highlighted. All right, now we're gonna bake with our tried and true Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna bake with my powder puff, dip it right in there, tap off the excess. You know what I noticed I did not do in my Sunday service pat down? I did not bake my nose highlight. Like, what was I thinking? So we are definitely gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna take this little Morphe 208 black defining brush. I'm gonna dip it in the powder. And then I'm gonna bake the sides. Bring that powder down, just like that. And bake that highlight right down the bridge. Boom. Y'all, can you please comment down below a show that I need to get into right now because I have watched everything. I've watched Dead to Me. First of all, why did that end so quickly? I was like, was that the end? I have watched Money Heist, which by the way, I 
highly recommend. I mean, that show was amazing. I binged all four seasons in four days. It was that good to me. Blind Spot, thankfully, is back on. I feel like a lot of people sleep on that show, but a couple of my friends watch it with me so we get to chat about it, but it's on NBC. If you haven't seen it, you really like crime, investigation kind of things, you'll really like Blind Spot. Definitely check that one out. Let's go ahead and dust this big off. I'm just going to use my Luxie 522 tapered brush. I have another highlight powder that I cannot wait to try. I've literally been looking at this powder for ages, okay? Cannot wait to use it. I'm gonna wait till I'm done with my eyes and stuff though to, to brighten it up with that. So let's go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark Deepest. And we're using the BH Cosmetics Number no. One Big Powder Brush. Warm up those cheekbones and that forehead. Again, you don't really need to do this. It just kind of sets that cream in place. You know, I like to set every liquid with a powder. Next up, we're gonna go in with our Tarte Amazonian Clay Brush. Ooh, brush blush in the shade party remember this shade is going to look like something for not me but trust me it is the most beautiful neutral rosy tone i feel like that's how the cream blush from fenty was uh petal popping it doesn't look like it's made for brown girls but it actually ends up turning out really nice because we're about to put so much color on our eyes, we don't need a whole lot of color on the cheeks anyway. All right, let's move on to the fun part. We are gonna fill in our brows with the Brow Definer from Anastasia. So I'll whip out that Omrizi um, mirror real quick for this. So we're gonna brush those hairs upward. We're gonna define the base of the brow first, okay? So underline the shape first, okay? On both sides. All right, then take your spoolie on the opposite end and brush that product up through your hair. I mean, this is literally the quickest way to fill in your brows. It just fills them in for you. Then we're gonna repeat the same on the top, starting kind of at the tail and arch. And then we're just gonna go through with the skinny side and make those little hair-like flicks to fill in any sparse areas. Perfecto. Now we're gonna clean up the bottom of my brows with some concealer. I'm gonna use that Pat McGrath concealer again. I really liked the texture of that. And we're gonna use the MAC 195 brush. Y'all have to like hold my breath when I do this part. Literally, take your time. Do not rush this. Just clean it up the bottom. And then I'm kind of taking a tiny bit of product, pretty much what's left over on the brush, and working my way up towards the front of the brow. Done. And we're gonna take that excess off, and we're gonna blend that out. I'm gonna use the, gosh, what is this? I don't even know. It's a Morphe little, tiny little bullet brush. And we are going to blend that out. Make sure that's nice and blended because you do not want to see that harsh line up under that brow. Beautiful. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and set those babies in place. One other thing I like to use it for, flyaways. <laughs> it's a nice little trick there. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of that concealer onto our eyelids. We're gonna use this as an eye base. Y'all, the most depressing thing happened. I lost my P. Louise base. Can you believe it? I can't. I am literally devastated. I cannot believe I cannot find that. If you don't know what the P. Louise base is, it's the best eyeshadow base, especially if you're gonna do vibrant looks like we're about to do. That's the base that you need. But you know what? One monkey don't stop no show. So we are going to keep 
going. This Pat McGrath concealer, or any concealer of your choice, doesn't matter. Helps if it's a little bit lighter, that way those vibrant colors can kind of pop. I'll take whatever's left over on my powder puff, just a little bit, and set that, that concealer in place. I don't always do this, I just find when you're doing a look like I'm about to do, that it's helpful. Actually, what I'm also going to do, just to be safe, I'm gonna put some setting powder underneath the eyes too to catch any fallout that we might have. Just a little bit, so in case any of our eyeshadow kind of falls down, we're gonna be able to just dust that away with the translucent powder and we'll be all set. All right, we're gonna go in with the original Jaclyn Hill palette, not the new one that I just showed. This is the oldie but goodie right here. We are gonna go into our most loved shade right here in the center. Oh wait, first of all, can we get into my new nails? She finally got them done. Anyway, we're gonna go into that color and we're gonna pop that color right into the crease of the eye. I'm using the Morphe G17. It's just a regular crease brush, nothing fancy. Just going back and forth, building that color up. It's okay to go really heavy on your crease colors because once we go in with this really blue smokiness, we're gonna lose some of our crease colors anyway. It's okay to build them up in the beginning. Now, let's go in with the Morphe M441, it's a more tapered crease brush. And we're gonna go in with the shade right below it, this more reddish brown shade. Just to deepen up the crease a tiny bit more, we're gonna go focused right in that socket, kind of pushing in, not too hard, but just kind of feeling where the top of the eyeball is. That's kind of where you wanna go back and forth in windshield wiper motions to deepen up that crease a little bit. And this does not have to be perfect, guys, because we are getting ready to come in and just mess up the whole show anyway, <laughs> in a good way, but we're getting ready to interrupt the show with a gel base, a black gel. All right, next up, guys, we're gonna take the Black Track Gel Liner from MAC. This is gonna work as our eye base to really make that blue like pop like no other. I'm just gonna take some basic Morphe flat defining brush. I just kind of stick with one brush for all my gel so I don't mess anything up. But we're literally gonna place this as close to the lash line as possible and then we're gonna kind of work our way up in a rainbow motion. Again it does not have to be perfect because this is literally just a base. Now you could certainly use a blue gel that's probably better but i don't have one right now so i'm just gonna use black you can certainly use a blue and you kind of want to work fast with this i mean some other gel liners might not dry as quickly but black trap she don't play okay then i'm gonna go in with this very tapered tiny blending brush this is the mac 221 and i'm gonna go right above the gel and just smudge that edge kind of blend it up into the crease. You'll see it's kind of dissipating where it's not that harsh line. I'm just kind of switching back and forth because I don't want these to dry down too fast. Try not to go too far up in the crease because you want to see that gradual from smoke all the way up to inferno. This is how you do a traditional smoky eye, guys. The new age smoky eyes to have the lighter in the inside and then the darkness on the outer corner. This is a traditional smoky eye. We're just using blue. Next up, we are going to take the MAC 239, y'all. Cannot read these numbers. And we are gonna go in with this beautiful royal Nipsey blue right here. And we are literally just going to pack this on. So I am going to get my brush in there real good, tap off the excess, and we are just going to stamp her on, okay? Stamp it on real good. Just keep building it up until you get the color payoff that you desire got some fallout already but again it's okay because that's why we put the powder down see that was such a good idea I'm glad I did it these birds outside of my door are living their best life right now kind of come up into above the fold a little bit just a little bit now don't go too far up that's just so when you have eyes like me when you look straight on you can still see that beautiful blue moment 
All right, for those of you who are wondering, yes, we are about to blend her. So we're gonna go back in with that second brush we used, which was the Morphe 441. We're going back in with that second crease color right here, and we are going right above that blue, and we are just going to blend the two together. Just so there's no lines of demarcation in between the colors. Should look like one beautiful rainbow. Just all merged together. I really like this reddish kind of crease color above this blue because it kind of gives it a purplish tone to it. it looks really pretty. And then we're gonna go back in with that first crease color and that Morphe G17. And right above that reddish, we're gonna emphasize that first transition color closest to the brow. Remember, I said you're gonna have to keep going back in with each of these colors because you will lose the pigment once you start to blend and stuff. We're even gonna go back in with that blue and that max is a 239. And we are going to pack a little bit more closest to the lash line. All right, y'all, get ready. The moment of truth is about to happen right here. We are taking the Dose of Colors, Katie and Desi Frencation palette. And y'all, we about to go in with this sparkly blue. Mm. Ooh, this blue just gives me life. And I'm about to go in with my finger, y'all, because, wow, look at that. Wow. The finger is just going to do everything I need for this. And we are just going to pat her right in the center of this look. Do y'all see that? Do you see this blue moment that is happening? My God, that's a beautiful color. Matter of fact, what is this called? Y'all, it's called a moment. This is a moment. I just love this color. I could literally bathe my whole face in this. Just kidding. But no, it's that pretty. Let us keep going. We're gonna dust this powder off. We are coming to the end of our marathon. <laughs> we are getting ready to end this. Can y'all believe I'm literally gonna wash this off <laughs> and get ready for bed? It's okay though, because this is why I do this. This is fun for me. All right, so we are now gonna go in with the MAC High Def Crayon. And this is, oh, I'm sorry. It's called High Def Sion, and it's the chromographic pencil. Ooh, let me get myself together. And I'm gonna apply this in the waterline and the lash line. We're gonna apply this kind of heavily. Y'all see that? Beautiful. You gotta make your ugly face. So beautiful. We could leave it like this, but I'm gonna do a little something different. I'm gonna take this really flat definer brush. This is the Morphe E43. I am gonna take that same blue, that royal blue, from the Jaclyn Hill original palette. And we are going to stamp this on the outer part of the lower lash line. So it's gonna look like it's kind of going dark to light. So pretty. Gorgeous, honey, just gorgeous, simply gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and take the new Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. Well, it's not really new, it's new for me though, because my MAC one started to dry out. We're gonna line our lash line just so my lashes will blend. I like that this one is felt tip and not brush tip. I mean, I like brush tip too, but I don't know. I feel like a felt tip is more sturdy. We're literally just placing and dragging across that top lash line. Beautiful. I had some mascara. We're gonna use the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is perfect if you have little tiny lashes like me. Helps to lengthen and separate. Just a little coat of this mascara on the top. And then we kinda gonna go ham on the bottom. I love my bottom lashes. Perfecto. All right, we're gonna take that Duo Black Lash Glue. We're gonna go right along the lash line. Actually, you know what? Pause for a cause. I'm using some new lashes today. These are the Her Lashes in the style Triple Threat. Very voluminous and appropriate for this look. I'll open her up. Y'all, these lashes are so bomb. Literally $5 mink lashes. I pretty much know. I think at this point I have every single style. <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but for $5 mink lashes, like, can you? even stained it. We're gonna measure these to our eye first. Use the Ulta Beauty Lash Tool. Definitely you gotta trim these babies. All right, make sure you always trim from the longer side, which is the outer corner. Cut one little section off. 
You have like these little clusters on these lashes, so it's really easy. I'm gonna cut a little bit of the band from the front, not the actual hairs, just a little bit of the band so it's not poking me in the inner corner. Let's try this, this should be fine, yes. Perfect though. Right, we're gonna trim the other one. I either like to, if the case is plastic, I like to bend the case back, just like that, and then pull very carefully like that. Or if the case is flat, you can just take your thumb and slide the lash down until it releases. You never wanna take one corner and try to peel it over because you can rip the lash that way. Again, always measure that lash first. Make sure it fits your eye. You never wanna hang it off the end. That's super uncomfortable. All right, just like I showed you in my last video, I like to take the glue and apply it directly to my lash lines. Super quick and easy. And because this is black, and I used a black fly liner from Fenty, it's just gonna blend right in and right into that lash band. Just take that center down, outer corner. So easy when your lash glue is tacky, like that literally just grabbed and went on immediately. These are super fluffy. Perfect. Love how fluffy these are. All right, last step we're gonna do is just go and squeeze with our lash tool our lashes with the falsies, just to make sure it's all blended and we don't have two stacks of lashes showing. All right, that lash application was so much better than my last one. <laughs> Then I realized that you could see my lash band, it was a hot mess, but it's okay. You know, we're learning at this YouTube thing. You can always check to make sure there's no band showing like it was in my Sunday service pat down, but everything looks great. All right, last but not least is our lips. Still nice and moisturized. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Cork Lip Liner, you know my tried and true. I am loving this look. I'm so glad I finally got this recorded all the way y'all when I tell you how hurt I was who I was hurt Anastasia liquid lipstick and sand apply some more and let this dry y'all know this from my Sunday service pat down video we have a couple more steps and we are done this actually looks really good with this like yellow too I love a little blue and yellow moment Perfect, add a little bit more liner and then we're gonna finish it off with the MAC see-through lip gloss. Love this lip gloss. All right, here is the powder I want to try so bad. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade two, medium. Let's see, let's grab this baby. This is the Zoeva 111 brush and I'm just gonna use this to brighten up this under eye. You know, sometimes when you add your blush and your bronzer and stuff, you lose the brightness under the eye. So this just kind of brings it all back together. Don't wanna go ham, cause it is kind of light. All right, let's set everything with the MAC Fix Plus. I'm using the coconut scent. Oh wait, I have a new fan, y'all. The Patrick Ta fan. How pretty is this rose gold fan? Makes you feel bad, see? <laughs> Let this settle in. We'll highlight and that will be it, y'all. I love a blue eye. Blue looks so good with brown eyes. Let's finish it off with the Becca highlight in the shade Topaz. It's a little dark, so I'm gonna do a little mixture. Pop this on the high points of the cheekbone. And we are going to add the Anastasia Omrezi highlight for a little bit more brightness. Perfecto. All right, let's take the clips out. All right, y'all, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am in love with this Nipsey Blue Eye. I hope that you guys love this and that you'll try it at home. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Like this if you enjoyed this and you want more makeup videos like this. And until next time, choose God, choose love, choose beauty.